Hi everyone, thank you for joining me over here on my Otter Mage Designs YouTube channel. My name is Jade, and I am a content creator and indie writer and illustrator of the manga series Game Over. I also stream on Twitch, and I do emote commissions, so I'm fairly familiar with how to get those babies uploaded. Also, if you haven't checked it out yet, I want to say thank you to everybody for all of your support on my How to Set Up Emote Attribution on Twitch video, and give a shout out to VVX Monte Clips for asking the question in the comments, how do I change my emote prefix? Because that is exactly what I'm going to show you how to do in under two minutes today. So thank you for leaving that in the comments. And if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to leave your questions in the comments. And if I know how to do it, I'll make a video on it. If not, I'll figure out how and share it with you. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to your Twitch channel and mine is Jade the Otter Mage. So this is my channel. I click on the little profile icon in the upper right side and I click on the third option that says creator dashboard. And this is gonna take me to a page that should look really familiar to all of us because it should be where you are whenever you're streaming. It allows you to mod, it allows you to update your stream name and run predictions. Very valuable place and very customizable. On the left hand side, there's a series of drop down menus. We're gonna go to the one that says viewer rewards and click on emotes. Once we're on the emote page, we're gonna see that there are follower emotes and a section for subscriber emotes. We scroll down just a little bit and we can see where there's another drop down menu that says update prefix. So to the left of that, you'll see that my prefix is currently B-E-N-T-O-S, Bentos, because my studio name used to be Bentos Studios here on Twitch, but now I'm Jade the Otter Mage. So if I go to update this, it wants to update to Jade TH13, which sounds really terrible. Who wants to type that in? So I'm not gonna click the update button because once you click to update it, that's it. You get one chance to change your prefix name whenever you change your channel name. So if you wanna change it, you have to change your channel name to be able to update it if you're an affiliate. So I was wondering, why can't it be whatever I want it to be? Because I don't want it to be bentos anymore, and I don't want it be, to be some weird combination of letters and numbers. And I learned that you have to be a partner to do this. So it, unfortunately, that's just how it is right now. I hope that that changes one day, or that you guys will like and follow my Twitch channel so that I can inch a little bit closer to becoming partner. I'm gonna link you guys to this Twitch instructional page in the comment section below, so definitely check it out underneath the video. Once you do decide what you want your emote prefix to be, or you decide to update it, you're going to be able to upload emotes and have them use that prefix almost right away. So for example, mine right now is Bento's Heart, or if I wanna use the Tiger Glare emote, it's Bento's Tiger Glare. Or if I want to tell someone to go back to the lab in their Iron Mon, I can use Bento's Back to the Lab. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd always appreciate you guys liking and subscribing and leaving me a comment to let me know what you liked and what you would like to see next. So of course, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. As you see, I am happy to make videos to answer them. And if you want to do a little bit more, while it's not required, I did put up a brand new Patreon page that helps support my original manga content, my webcomics, and my YouTube channel. By supporting me here for as little as $1 a month on Patreon, you'll enable me to update the amount of time that I spend on my YouTube channel, doing better tutorials, spiffier looking tutorials, and more frequently posted tutorials. Again, not required, but always appreciated. Thank you guys so much for joining me here on YouTube. I'm glad that you're finding these tutorials helpful. And again, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'm happy to answer. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. And if you need any emotes, please hit me up.